Hey, the chant on the streets of Chicago was like thousands heard last night in New York. I can't breathe! At a protest in Minneapolis. I can't breathe! And at a die-in on the campus of Clemson University. I can't breathe! 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 May 25th, 2020, 20, another man lost his life due to police brutality. A man by the name of George Floyd. For about nine minutes in consecutive, he yelled, I couldn't breathe as a police officer held his knee down on his neck, sandwiched between him and the ground. Many people around the United States and even the world banded together to be together in protest, to be voices against police brutality and racial injustice. We even have voices from back in the day that could probably give us an indication as to why so much hate is bred through acts of violence such as these. In order for you and me to devise some kind of method or strategy to offset some of the events or re a repetition of the events that have taken place here in Los Angeles recently, we have to go to the root. We have to go to the cause. The root of the cause being a lack of understanding. That lack of understanding breeds fear. And in turn, fear breeds suffering and more violence. The common breeding of violence has been a very common theme throughout the United States history for a very long time. It's been equal with racial injustice. And due to this lack of understanding, which breeds hate and fear, breeds deaths of Trayvon Martin, Eric Garner, and Breonna Taylor. So why was George Floyd so impactful? I'll tell you why. Inside CNN Center, we're just in the last 10 minutes. Demonstrators have started to come up and down this. The media took hold of the situation, having it spread like wildfire. Not just within days, but within hours, the entire world were throwing up their fists, showing support to organizations such as Black Lives Matter and all those who supported George Floyd and his family. But it wasn't just news stations and anchors that had this spread like wildfire. Book publishing agencies and even social media accounts and organizations on Twitter and Instagram showed support as well. So due to all this, why was it that George Floyd's death was so impactful? Why was his death the straw that broke the camel's back? We've been saying it all along. We just can't take it anymore. And neither could the camel. We all need to understand that we need to stop dealing in hay and dealing instead. <laughs>